up, Metalheads? Welcome to another night of Full Metal Trivia. And guess what? This is going to be the final regular season match of Season 1. Yes, folks, it is Week 28 here at Full Metal Trivia, and we are in for a fun one tonight. We have a panel of players who have been hand-selected by the admin committee here at Full Metal to compete tonight for the purpose of getting, potentially, one more playoff spot filled. But before we get into the match and before we get into the contestants, I want to go ahead and throw it to my co-host for the night. Y'all know him. Y'all love him. The Red Ranger, Rene Villarreal Jr. RJ, what's going on, buddy? You guys love me? Me? Do. I didn't know that! <laughs> I'm so excited! Okay, my girlfriend doesn't like that voice, so I have to stop. But no, I mean, this is, um, this is fun. Uh... I got my moonshine peach tea, which has no moonshine in it. It's just delicious. But, um, yeah, this is really fun. I mean, all the competitors here um, deserve a spot in the playoffs. So this is going to be a really fun match to see who wants it the most. Yep, you said it exactly. And as he said, he has his moonshine, which actually doesn't have moonshine in it. I've got my low-carb beer, which is actually the strongest beer I can get on the market right now, and I'm very happy with that. Billy Dilly. That's so well, sad. I know, it's kind of sad. And I live in Canada. Come on, we love drinking. All right, on that note, let's go ahead and let's introduce our contestants. Let's go down the line, and I'm going to start with the top-ranked player in the match. She has played in multiple matches in full metal recently, and every time she comes this close. Will tonight be her night? We'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, the vicious trollop, Jessica Morgan. Jessica, what's going on? Dude, fuck it. I'm in fucking pajamas right now. <laughs> <laughs> so see, that's the kind of attitude you have when, need to have when you play trivia. All right, introducing next a player we haven't seen in a little while, but he's definitely made waves in the few matches he's played. I'm happy to have him back in the ring for a shot at the championship playoffs. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Queller. Matt, what's going on? Hey, pajama buddies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to be here on the uh, season finale. Got a lot of competitors, and I think we're all overdue for a victory, so it's going to be fun. That you are. And, uh, again, pajama buddies, I haven't actually left my pajamas all day. Ninja Turtles, baby. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Introducing next one of everyone's favorites here at Full Metal, one of mine as well, from the players' pool. You know him. You'll love him. He is the hunter, Ryan Permison. Ryan, how's it going? Doing well, sir. Doing well. Thank you very much for having me. Yes, I'm wearing my PJs as well. Probably changed into them a few hours ago, so I got some cool threads on if you want to call them that. But anyway, I'm here to compete, and most importantly, I'm here to win. So let's get to this match. All right. Next, I'm going to go ahead and introduce a friend of ours from another set of trivia leagues. Y'all know him and love him as the commissioner of the Intergeekdom League over at Jack of All Trivia. He is Mashed Potatoes, Caleb Hansen. Caleb, what's going on? Ooh, what's up, guys? Uh, yeah, I'm happy to be back. Uh, playing, uh, playing in the Full Metal Trivia Arena. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, it's been like months since I've played, and uh, so you guys did what you usually do and lined me up like the best players uh to face. So it's gonna be fun. Yeah, well, again, this is a one-shot playoff deal, and, dude, your standings warranted you being here like everyone else in the room. And we have one last contestant to introduce. He is someone you've seen very recently in the Harry Potter Iron Man match, which he called for. He is the Wolf, Jim Green, rocking the Kenny Omega shirt. What's going on? And a nice lounge short, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> with my lovely leg there you know uh I, I feel like i'm the underdog here but so let's see if i can if i can pull off the upset over some big competitors like uh like jessica here and uh and make my way into that playoff all right all right and on that note we will go ahead and let's kick off the match before we do though i will point out that if you are a fan of us on our facebook page and if you're watching and you're not please check us out on facebook but earlier today i did put up the player poll and tonight for the first time we are going to try out the google card info if you see that click on the google icon and see who you got in the match it's a quick five player poll pick your favorite for the match and we'll see who's right by the end of it but Let's not delay this any further, and let's get into it. Round one works like this. Contestants will answer eight predetermined questions on their whiteboard, 15 count to respond by writing down their answer. When the time stops, they put down their markers, and one by one, we will get our answers. Correct answers are worth one point. Incorrects are worth nothing. At the end of round number one, the player with the highest score will get an advantage going into round two, and the player or players with the lowest score will be eliminated. 
Contestants, are you ready? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Let's All right. start this pajama party. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm the only that. one that's fully clothed here. I think you may be. Good but on that you, note, mashed potatoes. On that note, let's find tonight's one player to rule them all. RJ, take it away with question number one. All right, you guys. Now I'm starting to wish there was some moonshine in this thing, but here we go anyways. All right, your first question in the category of action adventure. In Taken, the daughter of Liam Neeson's character is kidnapped while on vacation in what city? Uh, the Taken movies. Such a weird quality the first one's like here the second one's like maybe here and then the third one is like no you read my mind you really did yeah no i'm actually getting baka poured into my moon my tea right now because my girlfriend <laughs> <laughs> a little more please <laughs> i think you need i think we need it tonight <laughs> as mr Burns, Garcia. <laughs> uh, oh and five Four, three, two, and one. All right, let's go ahead and let's start with Jessica. I'm pretty sure she's in Paris. That she is. All right, Matt? Paris. Correct. And Ryan? I said Paris. Correct. Caleb? Uh, gay Perry. That it is. And Jim? Uh, Perry, I believe she was following U2's world tour. I believe you are correct as well, but no bonus points, sadly. All right, I will move on to question number two in the category of quotes. Which Spielberg film has the lines "Bangarang" and I've lost my marbles? Oh, come on. Are we that low of ranked players? Yep. This is our Makuga question of the night. I will say it. You can thank Jeremy for that. Hey, if you don't get this right, just buy that first quote. Turn in your childhood card right now. And we have our RJ childhood quote of the night. Childhood quote of the night. All right. Let's give you five, four, three, two, one. Markers down. This time we will start with Matt. Bangarang, hook. That it is. All right. Ryan, did you have hook? Yes, sir. I said hook. All right. Caleb. Rufio, Rufio, hook. Correct. Jim. Hook, you're doing it, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Jessica. Yeah, it's Hook. All right. Uh, you might do it in question number three, and then I'll do four, because I don't want to sound like I'm already drunk by trying to pronounce this next question. All right, that's fine. <laughs> question number three in the category of comedy. What film stars Steve Martin and is based on Cyrano de Bergerac? Yeah, I totally would have butchered that. And I'm on my third say, beer in an hour. Come on, dude. I was going to say starring Burt Baccarat. That would have been an interesting movie. That would have been an interesting movie. Hey, you watch Austin Powers. Burt exactly. <laughs> All right. Let's give him five, four, three, two, and a one. And markers down. Let's start with Ryan on this one. Uh, I said Father of the Bride. Oh, incorrect. And Caleb. Roxanne. Please do not put on that red light. That is correct. And Jim. Uh, I put Jane Fonda. <laughs> <laughs> she was great in that one. Oh, that that will probably be reference of the night. Nobody else, please repeat that. All right, let's go on to Jessica. <laughs> Roxanne. That is correct. And Matt. Roxanne. Correct. All right, RJ, hit him with number four. All right, the one I can actually pronounce. <laughs> All right, your next question. In the category of drama, in Black Swan, what famous ballet are the dancers performing in the film's climax? Giggity. We, we just couldn't make it any easier for them, could we? No, nope, that's another come on. That's a good <clears throat> question. <laughs> Sniffed my marker a little bit there. Sorry. <laughs> So usually when people do that, it's, ooh. All right. Let's give them five, repeat. four, three, repeat. two. Oh, Quite repeat. To repeat. All right. In Black Swan, what famous ballet are the dancers performing in the film's climax? 
And we're going to take off a point for that repeat because that is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a five. That is an insult. Four, three, wow. two, we're ready. one. We're not deducting a point. Marker's <laughs> down. This time we will start with Caleb. It's a Swan Lake. That it is. All right. Yeah. On to Jim. Swan Lake. Correct. Jessica? Swan Lake. Correct. Matt? I put the Swan Princess. Oh, oh so close. Cool. And Ryan. Up. I redeem myself. Swan Lake. Correct. All right. Let's move on then to question number five in the category of family films. Which action star appeared in Sidekicks and Top Dog? Never Sidekicks. heard of either of these. Oh, you need to see Sidekicks. You need no, to see I don't. Sidekicks. I don't need to see anything. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Nope. Actually, I will say, RJ, for the sake of nostalgia goggles, you should see Sidekicks. Yes. Yes. I'll tell you what. When the entire admin watches Gordy... I'll watch Sidekicks. <laughs> I already seen it, so I'm good. <laughs> you watch it again, and you enjoy it. <laughs> I want you to sit hey, there with a smile. You on won the, I judged that. You won the episode. Giving him five. I did. Four, I did. three, two, one. Markers down. This time we'll start with Jim. I had no idea, so I guess Jackie Chan. Oh, oh. That would have been interesting, but no. All right, on to Jessica. Chuck Norris. That is correct. Matt. Chuck Norris. Correct. Ryan. Well, well, well. What a surprise. Chuck Norris. All right. And Caleb. I didn't have it. Oh, okay. All right. Moving on to your next question. I know what it is. <laughs> In the category of new releases, The Big Sick and 2018's Death Wish take place mostly in which U.S. city? Uh, so going to the comments real quick. Luca, yes, you're correct. And uh, that just reminded me of Jonathan Brandis. Uh, may you rest. Can you repeat the question, please? No problem. In the category of new releases, The Big Sick and 2018's Death Wish take place mostly in which U.S. city? By the way, I should probably say this before we get any further in the video. I am not sponsored by Anheuser-Busch. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag wish I was. Hashtag help a brother out. Hashtag dilly dilly. <laughs> hashtag me neither because I showed the label, I guess. I don't yeah. Know. I don't All know right. these people, but they make a great tea. I believe it is stocked by the same people. All right. Giving them five, four... Tres, dos, uno, and markers down. This time we are starting with Matt. Uh, shot in the dark, uh, Chicago. And he's correct with a Makuga guess. Oh. All right. On to Ryan. Whew. Thank goodness I said it. Chicago. Correct. <laughs> Caleb. Didn't have it. Okay. Jim? Uh, I love Kumail Nanjiani, Chicago. Correct. And Jessica? Oh, fucking Christ on a cracker. I had Detroit. Oh. That's not, what I had, too. Not a bad guess, but sadly not correct. All right, your penultimate question here in the first round is in the category of actors and actresses. Who has played a race car driver, a vampire, a sports agent, and a hitman? One actor who has played characters in all of these occupations. Vampire is not an occupation. Jane Fonda. <laughs> It is in that movie. <laughs> Depends on who you ask. Like, what do you get paid for being a vampire? Like, do you get benefits? Mm. They have to have amazing dental. Like, that's yeah. their livelihood right there. I mean, they live forever, so that's a benefit. I mean, Depending yeah, on who you ask. Like, it's really sad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what we Does do in the shadows. Vampire movies? It's fucking depressing. Yeah, what we do in the shadows is funny. Giving you five, four, three, two, one. Markers down. This time we start with Ryan. Was it uh, Show Me the Money, Tom Cruise? It was Caleb. Tom Cruise. Correct. And Jim? Tom Cruise. Correct. Jessica? Tom Cruise. 
Correct. And Matt. Cruz. All right. All right. So your final question in round one is going to be in the category of coming of age. In what film do two British boys in the 1980s try to make their own movie based on First Blood? Ooh. <laughs> Whoever wrote these questions has terrible spelling. Jeremy. I'm so disappointed in you, Jeremy. Uh, we all are. We love him, but we're so but I know spelling doesn't count when you answer it, but spelling should count when you're writing the question. Just saying. This is what we really need to buy him a spell checker. I'm surprised this thing did. Well, okay, I can understand why maybe it wouldn't spell check it, but still. Yeah, all right. Giving him five, four, three, two, and markers down. This time we will start with Caleb. Didn't have it. All right, let's go on to Jim. Uh, I said the girl next door. Lol. Uh, that would be an interesting movie, but no. That's exactly what I thought, Alex. All right, on to Jessica. Um, son of Rambo? That is correct. Oh, and God. That... Son of Rambo. Correct. And Ryan? There's some guys called the Rambo fans. I don't know. Okay, all right. Well, that does bring us to the end of round number one, folks. And, well, we have a couple of ties. Currently tied for first place with seven points apiece are Jessica and Matt. So they will both get an advantage in round number two. Then we have Ryan sitting with six points. And tied for last, we have Jim and Caleb with five points apiece. So we will go to a tiebreaker. And since we have a tie for first, We'll defer to the third place player and Ryan pick their poison. Box office or Rotten Tomatoes? Oh, wow. Uh, I'm going to go with Rotten Tomatoes. Thank God. All right. Okay. I'm already down there if you want me to take it, Alex. Yep. Let's go ahead and give them movie number two. Yes, All right. I know movie number two. No, I'm kidding. All right. So <laughs> Caleb and Jim. Get as close as you can to the Rotten Tomato score for Shrek 2. <laughs> Shrek 2, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm looking at it, and to me it's surprising. But then again, I hate all the Shrek movies except for the first and last. I don't mind the second. I hate everything after. I like 1 and 2. I like one, I don't like two or three, and four to me was a bit surprising, but it's not as the good as the original. Don't even get me started about that spinoff. Oh, I don't even discuss that. Oh, God. All right. Let's go ahead and let's get the answers. Jim, what did you have? Uh, I put 81%, Shrek is love, Shrek is life. And Caleb? Uh, I said 68%. Oh, And your and answer? 88 percent on that note jim moves on to round number two caleb i will be happy to have you stick around with your mic muted to watch the rest of the match on the panel but unfortunately your night for scoring points is done so on that note let's move on to round number two and round number two works like this i will go in order of score to have the players pick numbers between one and eight in this case since jess and matt are both tied they each get to pick two numbers Ryan and Jim each get to pick one. Actually, that means it's out of seven because I just did the math in my head. Forgive me. I've been drinking. On that note, if a player's chosen number comes up on a random number generator, they will get to pick the category for round number two. But if the number that no one picked comes up, you have to answer from the secret category. And tonight's is a very special one for some people. I think you'll like it. Most of us. I kind of want to shoot Jeremy for this one. So on that note, let's go ahead and get some numbers. Jess, I'm going to start with you picking a number between one and seven. Five. Number five? All right. And then I will get a number from Matt. Uh, three. Okay. I will get another number from Matt. Uh, seven. And another number from Jess. One, she is back four. in front. Number four. All right. Then I will get a number from Ryan. Uh, am, I, am I allowed to pick the same number? Or no? no, you're no. out. You can pick one, two, or six. 
Oh, one through six. Okay. Uh, two. And Jim, you can pick one or six. Uh, as a fan of the greatest sixth ranger of all time slash power ranger of all time, Tommy Oliver, I will pick number six. All right. Oh, please let oh. one show up. Oh, please <laughs> let one show up. On that note, I am running the random number generator when I pull up the proper app. God damn it, I did not want to pull up Shazam. They have similar logos on my phone. Oof. All right, let's run this generator. And ladies and gentlemen, it is number six. Jim gets to pick the category. Jim, your options for this round are as follows. Guillermo del Toro, movies about food, The Hunger Games, quite a dichotomy there, Saturday Night Live movies, movie beheadings. However, if you don't like any of those categories, you can opt to play the secret category, and every correct answer by every player will be worth double points. Jim, what are you choosing? Jim, listen to me. As a fellow Texan, you want this secret category. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm behind two points. Uh, could you repeat the categories once for me, sir? Certainly. Your options are Guillermo del Toro, Movies About Food, The Hunger Games, Saturday Night Live Movies, Movie Beheadings, or The Secret Category. Listen to me, Smalls. <laughs> <laughs> RJ, I hate you. Let's go with the secret category. Oh, my God. Oh. All right. <laughs> Double points for everybody. RJ, tell them and ask the questions. All right. Your secret category for tonight is country music films. Oh. What? <laughs> that is not a category. I it is a category because the questions exist. So I, I want I want to challenge this. Oh my god! You don't get to. You don't get to. Unfortunately, no. It is a category. It is valid. I have reviewed these uh, questions. They are valid. Oh god! All right. So your first question in country music films: What country music singer was the star of 1992's Pure Country? I just started singing that song in my head too. And there, you, and this is why I love you, Jim. <laughs> because if you didn't get this right, oh dear God, <laughs> I kick you out of this match. Jeez. Way to go, Jim. Way to go. <laughs> hey, giving them five. Ain't I a four, stinker? Three. Ruined everyone's night. Two. One. Fuck you. My night's going good. All right, markers <laughs> down, and let's go ahead and start with Jessica. I believe it's George Strait. That it is. One point, two points. God right. sakes. And Matt? I'm not even going to say what I put. It's not right. <laughs> All right. And Ryan? I said Dolly freaking pardon. <laughs> All right. And oh, no, come Jim. on. She's an actually good actor. My actually. answer is George Strait, and I'm pretty sure Matt put Chris Gaines. <laughs> All right, let's move on. All right. All right. <laughs> Your next question in the greatest category of all time. What 2009 film features fictional country stars named Bad Blake and Tommy Sweet? Uh, I actually enjoyed this movie. I've watched it too. one time. I did too. It was very good. Yeah. There's a couple of performances in it that are very worthy of their praise. I'll say that much. Definitely. Giving you five, four. Oh, okay. Uh, repeat? Yep. Yeah. All right. What 2009 film features fictional country stars named Bad Blake and Tommy Sweet? <clears throat> this match is going so well, I might just have to break out the whiskey a week early. Yeah. God damn it. Stuff is alcoholic beverage. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica's got the right idea. Giving you five, four, three, two, and one. Markers down. This time we will start with Matt. Walk hard, the Dewey Cox story. Oh, no. Such a good guess, but no. All right. On to Ryan. I said country strong. Actually, a worse guess, but 
also incorrect. And Jim. I didn't have it. Oh, and Ooh. Jessica. I believe it's Crazy Heart. And you are correct. It is Crazy Heart. Jesus. <laughs> Good job, Jess. Uh, if they were in the same room, Jim would be strangled, getting strangled by Ryan right now. This is bullshit, man. This no, it'd probably be me. I was this the instigator. Bullshit. All right. I, next... I did have a strategy behind this. All right. Your next question in Ryan's favorite category. What female superstar starred in The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas and Straight Talk? This is a gimme, guys. This is your okay. gimme. Okay. Jeremy always has one. We got two in there. I think after this round, we're going to take a beer break. <laughs> All right. Let's give him five, four, trois, deux. All right. You're already ready to go. <laughs> this time, we're going to start with Ryan. Is Reba McIntyre? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, no, it oh is not. Oh, my God. And you're going to hate it when you hear the answer, Jim. Dolly Parton. That is correct. Challenge. I challenge, <laughs> I challenge this whole round, and I challenge this whole freaking category. This is bullshit. All right. I'm not even Let's... kidding. I'm being serious. I am challenging this. <laughs> Calm down, John Roca. Calm down. Jessica. <laughs> Dolly. All right. And Matt. Dolly World. All right. All right, let's get the final question. All right. All right. Final question before Ryan has an aneurysm. Name the film in which Gwyneth Paltrow plays a country singer named Kelly Cantor. Oh, so now the Gwyneth Paltrow question comes up. Okay. God. I really wish she would never sing again. Ugh. I really wish she just wouldn't act again. I heard the movie was terrible. Wow. All right. Giving you five, four, three, two, one. Marker's down. All right, let's go to Jim on this one. Let's do sudden death, boys. Okay. And Jessica? It's country strong. That it is. And Jessica has a perfect round, too. And Matt? <laughs> I could see everything except for the title that was just said like two minutes ago. Okay, <laughs> and Ryan. Yeah, country strong. It finally came up. All right, give me a quick moment to tally up the scores. I think we already know what the scores. I are. think it's all three of the guys are tied, and Jessica goes on. Yeah, actually, actually no. Clearly, clearly this no. Match was rigged for As her. I have it, currently Jessica is in the lead. She now has a score of oh no, because Ryan had six points. Matt and Jim are tied with nine, and Ryan's night has ended with eight points. Oh, oh shit! Shit. Oh, oh, shit. I didn't. I thought. Oh, I thought Ryan was at five. Oh my god! Bullshit. Oh, I'm sorry, Bullshit. Ryan. Shit! I was Ryan, gonna go under games. Jeremy, the Kevin question died. writer who put these questions in the match. You played a great game in round one. Round two just wasn't your wheelhouse, but. <laughs> How many I'm country gonna... movies are there? There's like three or four country movies that have ever been made. My God. You're lucky they didn't bring up that one that's about like fucking <laughs> mechanical bull riding. Stupid. I mean, rematch. Seriously. <laughs> well, rematch, we will get you in in a couple of weeks. And you do have your call out match with Mr. Caleb Coho coming up next week that we are definitely looking forward to. Tonight, though, just not your night in round number two. Great game, but your night for scoring points is done. Happy to have you stay on watching the rest of the game live, though. Hey, I'm back. I have another. I'm back. I have another beer. Let's get this final round underway, folks. Round number three works like this. It's similar to round number one and round number two in that matter, that que competitors will answer questions by writing them down on a whiteboard with a 15 count. However, if a competitor misses a question that another competitor answers correctly, they are instantly eliminated from the match, and we will continue to ask questions until only one player is left standing. Currently, those three players are Jess, Matt, and Jim. Players, are you ready? Okay. I'm ready, and uh, I just want to say I'm glad I got this far, and uh, best of luck to both of you. Right. Congratulations, everybody. All right. I will go ahead and read the first question. Let's get this final round underway and find our next playoff contender. Your first category in round number three is animated films. In what Disney film will you see whales soar through the sky and a flamingo 
play with a yo-yo. I've seen a fly. <laughs> Honestly, I read this question and I thought, God damn, did Disney make Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> That's a hell of a trip, man. This is one of those movies that always escapes my mind. Like, yeah. It'll always true. trip me up in trivia. Yeah. I read the title and I was like, really? That movie? Okay. I don't remember that, but all right. Oh, and by the way, since we're um, since we're waiting for them to write the answers, so um, Jeremy's really mad at me. Apparently, Son of Rambo is we, we the joke we were making is he had Son of Rambo spelled with a W at the end. Apparently, that is how it is spelled. Yeah, it, it is. is. He sent it me is. a picture of the. I was being a dick. My bad. <laughs> he said it to me too. He wanted to jump in after the match to yell at I you, did, but we're I not. I did not. I did not know that. I really did it. <laughs> All right. We've definitely hit the 15 count. So let's go ahead and let's go down the line. Let's start with Jessica. Sorry? Starting with you. Oh, okay. Shit. Fantasia. Oh. All right. Let's go to Jim. I said Alice in Wonderland. And Ryan. Uh, Matt. Or Matt, sorry. I put Fantasia, but judging by that direction, I'm sure it's probably Fantasia 2000. It's Fantasia oh, 2000. Yeah. That is correct. Oh. Oh Caleb had it right, so did Ryan, but neither of them are active in the game. So let's move on. RJ hit him with question two. All right, question number two in the category of sci-fi fantasy. What is the name of the super-powered woman played by Summer Glau? Glau. Let me start again. <laughs> what is the name of the super woman played by Summer Glau in Serenity? And the second I read this, I'm just screaming in my own head, Jeremy, where was this question last week? <laughs> Love fly, Firefly and Serenity. God damn it. This person, I'm pretty sure if I get this wrong, I'm going to end up divorced. <laughs> yep, same. If I got this wrong, it would be the same. <laughs> and I'm not even married yet. All right, let's give them five. Can you repeat that, please? All right. Repeat. Yeah. yeah. What is the name of the superpowered woman played by Summer Glau in Serenity? All right, let's give them five, four, three, two, one. Markers down. This time we will start with Matt. I put River. I couldn't pull her last name. We will give that a moment. Jim? I never saw Firefly. All right. And Jessica? Her full name is River Tam. All right. On that note, because Jim had it wrong, we will give Matt River as an answer. Jim, you are eliminated from the match. Ryan and Jessica, continue on. Matt. Right. Sorry. Ryan and Jessica and Matt. God, I shouldn't have grabbed the fourth beer. <laughs> that was the one good, good game, guys, and good, good luck. Good luck. All right. Oh, it's my turn to ask a question as well. All right. Category number three, 90s movies. Name the film where Christian Slater plays a teenager who hosts a local radio talk show under the name Hard Harry. Yeah. Yeah, see, this is where the pressure is on, so. These are the nicknames we had in the 90s. Hard yep. Harry. What happened to regular DJ Nick? Like Greg. Why can't I just be DJ Greg? I don't know. All right, I let's mean, give him five. <laughs> All right, let's give him five, four, and the boards are up, so let's not bother. All right, we will start with Jessica. Mm, pump up the volume. And Matt. Pump up the volume. And they are both correct. All right. All right, let's move on to the next question in the category of drama. The two Jesuit priests in Silence, portrayed by Andrew Garfield and Adam Driver, are from which European country? After all the hype of this being a new Scorsese movie, I just couldn't even keep up with when it was released, sadly. I've heard good, but god damn, this movie was in development for forever. It just it just looked so long, like like I just I I knew I couldn't sit through it. Like I just saw how it was filmed and I was just like, this is gonna make me fall asleep. It's gonna make you silent, basically. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right, give them five, four, trois, deux, uno. I just mix languages, whatever. All right, let's start with Matt on this one. I kind of wish I saw this now. England? And Jessica? I do believe they are Portuguese. And your winner, advancing to the full medal trivia championship playoff, the vicious trollop, Jessica Morgan. Congratulations. It took her six matches in less than three months, but she finally gets the win. Good Holy job, crap. That was one hell of a match. And I will point out, Jessica, you scored 18 points in this match. That tied your loss against Chance. Granted, you have the advantage <laughs> of round number two, but still, that was a hell of a game. How are you feeling after that? I think I'm going to play in pajamas more often. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, uh, all right. Speedy pajamas for the win. All right. And on that note, folks, I am going to definitely crunch the numbers to find out Jessica's seed because starting next week, as I mentioned already, yes, this is the final regular season match here at Full Metal Trivia. Next week, we are going to start the season playoffs. Week number one, the 19th, will feature five of the top 10 players playing off in one match. The 26th will feature the other five of the top ten. And the winners of those two matches will play off one-on-one -on -one in a full medal standard call-out with a brand new round three, which will carry over into season two, to determine the season champion. Not to mention, in the coming week, two weeks, we also have a special drunk match next Saturday night where I'm probably going to be just like this, only worse, playing off against some fellow admins and hopefully a mystery fifth competitor and on the 23rd of March, we will see our very own Ryan Permison, who played here tonight, going up against the King, Caleb Coho, in the final call-out match of Season 1. And that should be something ridiculous. But I think we all know who everyone's rooting for in that match. RJ, before we cut off the stream tonight, do you have any thoughts about how tonight went? I'm so bad when it comes to secret category. I'm such an instigator. <laughs> so I, I, I loved it. I loved it, RJ. I'm so bad. Uh, I make. Uh, I just. I just know how to. I, I just. I'm sorry. I apologize to those who did not appreciate the category, but I can't help it. It, it could have been anything, and I would have tried to get someone to pick the secret category. You watch a lot of the matches where I'm hosting. I like to push people's buttons with the secret category, and this was one of those nice victories that I get to feel as well. So, right. but it was a great match and great competitors. Uh, Jessica definitely well deserved. She's been fighting hard. She finally got that win. She's in the playoffs, and that just makes the playoffs all the more sweeter to watch, to look forward to. All right, and you definitely said that. Jessica, I am going to tally up the scores here at the end of the match before we go at, before we end the night. Uh, well, I'm going to do it after the stream ends because right now I'm probably going to need a few minutes to work these drunken fingers. But on that note, let's go ahead and end this match. For everyone involved tonight, if you are watching us live, Thank you very much. Give us a thumbs up here on the live version of the video already. If you are watching this post game with the sweet edited graphics, thank you for checking us out on Worldwide Movie Games. Subscribe to us on YouTube and Facebook, both at Worldwide Movie Games and Full Metal Media. And for everyone involved tonight, our contestants, Caleb Hansen, Jim Green, Matt Queller, Ryan Permison, and the victorious Jessica Morgan, my co-host, Renee Villarreal Jr., Ivan Alex Wharton, and we will see everyone... Uh, next time on Full Metal Trivia. Good night.